uh, apart from being a technologist, you know, it's very important to be a good communicator. And one of the big challenges that I see for folks, particularly coming from India and Asian countries and uh, dreaming to make it big in the tech world, is learning the right way of communicating, you know, whether it is verbal communication or written communication or articulating complex technologies. And I see you being very good at demystifying complex technologies and communicating very effectively. If you may share tips on how did that happen and how did you really pick up those skills and how important do you think are those communication skills to be successful? Important, right? And, and it's not just about being like, those communication skills are not just important to be a developer advocate. They are, I think, I would argue that they're important to be even a successful software engineer or whatever the role that you're picking in tech, communication skills are like the top here, right? Um, and how do you grow them or how do you get better at them? Some people are naturally good at them, um, but it's a skill that can be developed. And the way um, the way you do that is um, you, you first try and learn the, so, and your method of learning could be totally different than than my method of learning, right? Some people learn with hands-on, some people learn with documentation and then go hands-on. So depending on whatever your path is to learn, learn the thing because you have to make sure that you know enough of it in order to be able to explain something. That's when, so find the path for how you would learn whatever it is that is of interest to you or that you're trying to explain and then go pretty deep in it like no don't just because you know some people think that explain like you can just explain or create a, a short video or write a blog but in order to summarize something it's very hard to summarize something um if you if you only scratch the surface of it so the first step is to actually learn and to go deep into a, a topic and then the second step that i usually follow is can i explain this um, in in whatever format fashion, uh, and then the third is how do I improvise on my explanation so that it's done in a in a concise short manner. So if you if you focus on those three steps, that's how you get to being able to communicate uh, in a in a way that's easily easy to understand to other people. Now. In that third step, you can add a bunch of different things, right? You can add your flair of like, I I do sketches because I'm interested in doing um, stuff like that. If you're not into that, you could just, you could make infographics using lots of tools out there, right? Um, it's, it's up to you how you do that third bit, but that third bit, to get to that third and the, and the um, you know, succinct or precise explanation, though those first two steps are just extremely important. and and don't skip on like, don't try to find like easier ways to like, oh, I'll just read this one thing and maybe I'll be able to explain it. No, you have to really spend some time learning it and then genuinely trying to learn and understand it and then explain it. That at first explanation can be big, long, doesn't matter. Then, then you go to like uh, making it smaller. Making it smaller, being, creating some of the one minute videos is the hardest thing to do uh, because you need to really know the matter to know that these are the three points that are worth mentioning and everything else will not matter in this one minute video, right? 